begins the craziness of high school basketball. These two programs have been the cream of the crop in the girls' city league here in Boston. Always fun to see the future of Boston basketball. Boy going to work. Somehow oh. gets it to go, and the foul. Jordan off the up bank. That's the kind of control finish you want to have. Aiden way down. Big yeah, play, follow up that push. The Tech Boston Bears have won back-to-back -back championship in 2019. Welcome to Boston Latin Academy High School in Dorchester for the first round of the boys' Boston City League playoffs as tonight the South Boston Knights pay a visit to the Latin Academy Dragons. Hello, everybody. I'm Pat Flaherty. I'm with my partner, as always, Alan Platt. And, Alan, about, I think it's the third year now that the City League has extended the City yep. League playoffs. It used to be just the semifinals, then semifinals. the City Championship. Yep. Now the top two teams on the boys' side and the girls' side get a first-round bye, and the next four teams then play a first play round. Play-in game, pretty much. Sort of right. a play-in yeah. game, exactly. This yeah. has been a lot of fun over the last couple of years. I'm glad that the City well, League is yeah, added. I mean, it took them a while to do it, but um, uh, Avery Aisdale, the uh, – City's athletic director uh, put it in place. He had it in mind for a while, from what I understand. And uh, it, like you said, it's created some excitement. No question. Which is what it does. Uh, two more teams are looking at, oh, I'm sorry, more teams are looking at those two extra spots. That's right. As a chance to get in. Like tonight, we have a 16-3 and Latin Academy team with really almost been the, the surprise of the city with that great That's record. Right. And then a 10 and, and 9 uh, South Boston team, XL. So this is this is exactly what that does when you expand the playoffs. Even talk, even pro leagues are talking about expanding That's right. playoffs. Okay? That's right. So this is a, an example of, of how it can create a lot of excitement. Yeah. And first of all, we're going to talk about the South Boston Knights. Like you mentioned, one of those teams that benefits from having this first round game, getting into the city league playoffs, and they've gone on a nice little streak here towards the end of the season and one of the players that's really been outstanding for them basically all season has been Jalen Bing Wallace their big man for the South Boston Knights. Yeah, when you're 6'5 and you have some skills you're going to make some noise in this city you mentioned a nice streak at the end of the season they won five of their last seven games to get them to 10 and 9 so right. they're, they're on an emotional high they're glad to be in the playoffs right Okay, if you're playing against the Latin Academy team who just barely uh, missed getting the bye. So Latin Academy is trying to prove on their 16-3, and three, obviously. That's right. We just saw Jalen Bing Wallace's stats against Fenway towards the middle of the season. That was probably the turning point for this South Boston team where they started winning that 7 out of 9 or 7 out of 10 uh, winning streak that they've had over the last half of the season. Now, meanwhile, on the other side for Latin Academy, the spotlight player tonight is Abdullahi Aiden. We saw him against Tech oh, Boston a few weeks ago. He actually comes off the bench, but he's their leading scorer. He's one of the more fun players in the league, especially if he loves scorers. I mean, it's funny. The Celtics just played the L.A. Clippers last night. We have Lou Williams coming off the bench, but he's right. also one of the Clippers' top scorers. Exactly. Aiden is, is, is the exact same type of formula. He loves hitting three-pointers, but in the overtime game that we did earlier when they beat uh, Tech Boston, he came off the bench. Not only did he score, he actually had he, – he created for teammates. He was able to get to the basket. He was able to make free throws. But his calling card is hitting long three-pointers. No question. And that's what all his classmates and, more importantly, his teammates and coaches look forward to. No question. He's certainly a lot of fun to watch when he comes off the bench for Latin Academy and certainly can score in bunches, as we saw just a couple of weeks ago against Tech Boston. Now, for more on this game tonight, we're going to go to our sideline reporter, Michelle Fenelon, who has an update for us. Michelle, what do you have? South Boston is coming into this game with a tremendous amount of confidence after winning seven of its last ten games, including four straight victories. Latin Academy head coach Dan Barker told me the Dragons have to start off strong. He said we have to shut South Boston down early defensively and take away that confidence because if we don't, we can be in big trouble. Pat. Thanks very much, Michelle. And, Alan, you mentioned the records before. Latin Academy, one of the best teams in the city, even though they're in second place in the Boston North behind Tech Boston because of their league wins, they have one of the best records in Boston. Meanwhile, South Boston, I think they're technically 10-7 and because they had two endowment games. Right, but those stack, you can drop them. Exactly, right. exactly. So Latin Academy in the matchup looks to be the favorite. On paper. But but on paper, but we're coach, here because paper means nothing. <laughs> exactly. And like, you know, Michelle said, Coach Bunker knows that this is certainly a team that can do some damage against this Latin Academy team. S starters for Selfie tonight, it's Murphy, Aponte, Dick, Lima, and Bing Wallace. Meanwhile, for Latin Academy, it's Lawson, Santos, Stuppard, Ali, and Wolgarit. 
We are just about set to go here at Latin Academy High. It's our third time here so far this season with the two boys and girls teams playing well. We might be back here again in the state tournament. Very possible. Very possible. Latin Academy has really had a good basketball season on both girls and boys, as we mentioned. Latin Academy controls the opening tap there in the all yellow uniforms with the black trim. A little bit of a diamond and two defense for South Boston. Man, nice, nice stock foul line jumper. Yeah, well, Garen knocking down the jumper. We're used to him getting putbacks, but this time hitting it for mid range. It's Kyle Murphy flipping it over to the corner for South Boston. Cameron Dick, who's come on strong here the last couple of weeks for the Knights. Straight to the goal. Nice move by Cameron Dick. He was looking everywhere except the basket. Sort of threw the defense of Latin Academy off guard and was able to get that step to the basket. Santos. A travel yeah. violation, yeah. Going to go back to the Knights. Three veteran officials. It's good to see. Uh, Brian Wilson, Jamal Galloway, and Donovan Little. The turnover there from South Boston. Now it's Santos trying to regain possession. Over to Muhammad Ali. Muhammad towards the bucket, lost his footing. And that's going to stay with the yeah, Latin Academy deflection. Dragons. Yeah. Mentioned veteran officials on that play. If you're not sure, you look for one of your partners. Going to stay with Latin Academy. And you see Jalen Bing Wallace yeah. using his long arms and leaping ability. Ali can't knock down the three. Well, Garen inside, and like he's you fouled. said, that's what he does, Pat. We, we see him with offensive rebounds, stays active once he knows the teammate's shot is going up. They actually called a rejection there, but Will Garen on the alley oop drops it in for Latin Academy. Off to a good start on the offensive end. Big That'll Wallace be a travel too. Yeah, you, you get you got some jitters. Uh, the kids are had a. Uh, a, a little bit of a longer warm-up getting ready because of the big crowd coming in. So sometimes you can, you know, work up a sweat, but then it, as you keep <laughs> the lay, right. layup line and shooting, <laughs> you can be a, a little winded by the time the game starts. Yeah, the, the one difference between some of the regular season games, like you mentioned, the longer warm-up because there's no JV game. You so you're not really right. pressed for time. You can be shooting around all night. Santos no good there. Well, Garen with another putback. He's got six quick points here for Latin Academy. Yeah, South Boston's gonna have to put a body on him or else he'll do that all night. Turnover as Wilgarin gets the steal for the Dragons. Mason Lawson going all the way to the rack. I say Hakeem Johnson, South Boston coach, doesn't like that. To watch a kid pretty much go coast to coast. Steal there for Ali, but he throws it away. Dick back up to Murphy for three off the back iron. Rebound for Lima, inside to Wallace. Jalen can't get the layup, rebound to Ali. Well, that's just too much adrenaline, he overshot that one. Lawson again towards the rim, just tosses that one up. Well, Garen got caught underneath the rim. Here comes Murphy back down the other end for Celtic. Murphy reversed, lay-in gets oh, it to go. Nice play. I thought he was gonna try to pass it, but he was able to spin it off the backboard, up and under. So the Murphy reverse lay-in cuts it down to four here with about 2.45 gone by in the first well, quarter. Academy timeout. Watch, the, watch this nice finish. He goes up and under. I thought he was going to try to slide over to Big Man, but instead use some English to spin it, up, spin it off the backboard. It's, it's, you know, Pat, with, with this matchup, it's, it's, I'm trying to figure what, which team would really like a faster pace. I mean, because they're, they're, both, they're both capable of it, but... Danny Bunker called the timeout quick because he didn't, something he didn't like that was going on. Yeah, it's a good question because both teams have bigs who can really run up and down the floor. Yeah, I mean, Garrett, Osasu and Jalen yeah. can really sprint for big 6'5 guys. So you're not worried about your bigs as much. So I, I, it's yeah, a good question. I, I I'm not sure which I team. I think he'll play itself out because with Garrett right there, we know what he's going to do. We've seen him do it a couple times this year. He loves offensive rebounding. Good Activity, the only thing he has to do is he has to watch his foul. 
One thing Coach Johnson mentioned to us earlier in the week, he really wants to play a 2-3 zone and make Latin Academy hit outside shots. So it could be Selfie who's going to try to slow it down on both ends of the floor. O'Garen, good duck down pass to Nemo Stuppert. Couldn't get the layup. Can't get the putback. O'Garen with another rebound. He gets blocked inside by Lima. That's going to stay with Latin Academy. Yeah, Felipe Lima, good job. Here comes the offensive spot. Next whistle. Santos going to reset. Lawson going baseline. Gets swatted by Jalen Ben Wallace. That's the see. That's the presence you talked about, Pat. He, he already has four blocks, and we've only played what three and a half minutes. Abdullah Aiden in the game for the first time. He was with the ball. Ali for a three. Nice. Carries it for Latin Academy. The defender stepped off of. Ali, because Aiden was out there with a, with a possible shot. Ponte, corner three, well off the mark that time. Rebound comes down to Ali. Lawson, again inside, tries a floater. Can't get it to go. Bing Wallace with the rebound for Selfie. Murphy. Midway through the first quarter, seven point lead for Latin Academy, and it's gonna stay that way after Murphy rattles out the three. Well, Garen on the other end. We're gonna call him for traveling. Yeah, South Boston going to their bench also. They're gonna bring in Cope and... Looks like Jamari Brewington Cope. Brewington, right, there you go. Mm. Trying to break this full court pressure. It's going to be mainly Murphy as the ball handler. And Tommy Hubbard also in for South Boston. Wellington Cope fires from three. Rebound to Mason Lawson. Kicked out of bounds by Murphy. A little frustration on the South Boston offensive end because they're getting some open looks from the outside shots and haven't been able to make any of those have a seven point deficit. Aiden. Nemo Stupper. Nothing but net from three from Nemo, the senior. And again, Aiden with the, with the assist. Cameron Dick. Murphy inside. Shot inside made that nice by time time by Tommy Hubbard, sophomore nice forward. Left-handed finish by Hubbard. Benny Martinez, another sophomore, gets that one to go for Latin Academy. Got that soft runner to avoid the shot blocking. Back to a 10-point lead for the Dragons. Three ball on the way. Dick unable to connect from long distance as Aiden comes away with the rebound. That's going to be off of Mason Lawson, so I'll go back to Selfie. It does seem like Latin Academy's pushing the pace just a little well, bit. Well, once more Aiden gets in the game, tonight. I mean, he's uh, had two quick assists. Hasn't even taken a shot yet, but we know he will. <laughs> it won't take, <laughs> won't take long for him to start firing it up. Tiano Santos back in the game now for Latin Academy. Nemo Stufford heads to the bench. Bing Wallace off the spin move, and he took an extra step. A lot of trap. I tell you. A lot of traveling calls in this first, first five and a half minutes. Both teams. We've talked about this before with the city championships, especially with the three refs. It's a little different than having two oh, big refs. Big difference, big difference. You get away with a little bit more with just two refs during the regular season. Good swing, Aiden, corner three, you betcha. Well, first shot, nothing but net. Yeah, Hakeem wants a timeout. Uh, head coach Hakeem Johnson for South Boston. He, I'm, I know, getting ready for this game, he drilled into his team. Listen, wherever Aiden goes, we've got to be able to close out on him. Do not give him an open look. The first first time he gets an open shot, he bangs it. 
And Latin Academy three for four from deep. They have had a 13-point lead here with two minutes left in the first quarter. Our sideline reporter Michelle Fenelon has got an update for us. Michelle, what do you have? Quick injury update. Latin Academy is without freshman center Brennan Shapiro after he hurt his right ankle at practice yesterday. The Dragons are hopeful he will be back by next week. Pat. Thanks very much, Michelle. Yeah, it's What's interesting, I saw him in the warm-ups. He just had his uh, sweats on. So That's right. I didn't know they were, they were seeing a shot of his ankle. But he's, um, again, the last game we, the game we did against Tech Boston, he actually came in. Right, came off good the minutes. bench. He rebounded well. Good-sized kid, 6'5". Set a couple of picks, yeah. Got a lot of rebounds. Another young guy for this Latin Academy team that's already contributing. Out of the timeout, South Boston with the basketball. Down by 13. They get it up quickly to Bing Wallace. Off the spin, Jalen lays it up and in. Mason Lawson gets tied up right around the paint. That's going to go back to Celtic. There's the hell ball. Good defense that time. Quick double team at the wing. Talk about early jitters. Both teams that now have four turnovers. But obviously, Latin Academy is doing much better making their shots. I'll stay with the Knights. South Boston can definitely knock down threes. Murphy, Cameron Dick, they had, yeah, Aponte, they, they all they can got shoot. the shooters out there. It's just a matter of them uh, making some. Hubbard, it's like the third air ball from three-point land. Benny Martinez didn't get to the baseline. Murphy knocks it out of bounds. Going to stay with Latin Academy. 17 seconds left in the shot clock. What's interesting, these, these two teams are actually pretty familiar with each other because not only uh, in the season, but in preseason leagues, they ended up matching up a few times against each other. So they, they, they pretty much know what to expect. Lawson steps in for the long two, unable to hit. Here comes Cameron Dick, all the way back down the other end, stolen away by Mason Lawson. Lawson all the way to the bucket, gets the basket and the foul for the Dragons. That's the upper body strength of Lawson. His, his legs got him there, but once he got hit, he was still able to keep what? Now what ha happens here? He's hit, he gets hit right there, but he's still able to keep his balance to put up a good shot. Possible three-point play. I think the South Boston, we've seen them miss some of the shots that they usually make. They've, they've got to have some anxiety, some nervousness. They know that Latin Academy's won 16 games. They only lost three. Playing at home, familiar rims. So at this point for South Boston, it's almost like who's going to step up by making a couple of shots to make them feel like they're back in the game. Willing to cope. Drive inside, tries an acrobatic layup, got caught underneath the backboard. Here comes Martinez. Lawson. Well, watch out for Aiden, he's gonna be in the corner. Lawson steps into a three off the back rim. Rebound comes out to Santos. He lost it out of bounds. Going to stay Good with job Latin by Academy. Al Ali to keep that uh, alive for Latin Academy. Okay, Hakeem Johnson is asking about the shot clock being reset. You see Hakeem. Came back to uh, South Boston. Aiden, corner three around the rim. And out. Ali short with the putback. Okay, ball stays with Latin Academy. Mentioned uh, Hakeem was away for a couple of years and then did some college coaching. And now he's been back. Uh, this is his third year back. Ali heads to the bench. Will Guerin comes back in. Seven seconds left before the end of the quarter. Santos going to the basket and he's fouled on the floor. Be a reaching foul. That foul's on Kyle Murphy. Just his first personal foul. Second team foul on Southie. Aiden before the end of the quarter. Santos. Whoa! Gets it to go at the buzzer. And a foul. Fouls on Cope. 
And that un most unlikely three-pointer. You love them when they bounce higher than the, the top of the backboard and then fall in. Boy, you talk about home time rims. Uh, Santos unable to hit. Of course, he makes that crazy three and missed the three. Right, <laughs> that's, what, that's what Coach uh, Bunker will talk about tomorrow. But Santos knocking down the three here at the end of the third quarter. Latin Academy with a 19-point lead over South Boston. We're going to head to break when we come back with the second quarter here on Game of the Week right after these words. Don't go away. back and change it all. I would. I would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Or maybe it's just a little moment. I could go back. I could go back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't. Welcome back to Latin Academy High School in Dorchester for the start of the second quarter here in the boys' first round of the City League playoffs as we resume our second quarter here on Game of the Week. Our sideline reporter Michelle Fenelon has an update for us. Michelle, what's happening? Two things we've seen a lot of so far from Latin Academy is their transition offense as well as their ability to shoot outside from outside. Latin Academy head coach Dan Bucker told me they spent a great deal of practice working on that 2-3 zone. He said we got a lot of shots up. Also, we really wanted to work on getting in transition so South Boston wouldn't be able to set up that 2-3 zone. Pat? Thanks very much, Michelle. Another turnover. Unforced turnover on South Boston. Another thing for Latin Academy, they are dominating the rebounding. First quarter, they out-rebound on South Boston 16-4. to I mean, a lot of that had to do with Osasso Wolgaren, oh, who had a correct. ton of rebounds, and also the offensive yeah, end. You got South Boston playing in a zone, which allows some long rebounds. Martinez thought about the three, leans into it, nice too. Shot. Uh, under control. That's the key. Like you said, you did think about the three, but then saw an opening, stepped in. Foul on the sideline by Benny after he got excited after hitting that shot. Fouls Jamari Brewington Cope. 19 point lead here for the Latin Academy Dragons. Brewington Cope. Good swing for the Knights. Corner three, no good that time from Aponte. Hubbard with the rebound, gets it knocked away. Stolen away by Lawson. Quickly up to Santos. Martinez fires from three. Murphy with the rebound for South Boston. Lima going to work against Wolgarin. They're going to call a foul on Losaso Wolgarin. Nice little drop step by Lima. South Boston is really our vets, but just totally out of sorts. They, they, they're not able to get anything smooth. Some of their passes are sort of forced. Right, out. Who's All the time, down the first. high school players just, when they miss, the whole team's missing so many one shots. Shot. They all start thinking about, okay, who, which one of us is going to step up and make a couple of right. shots? Is it me? Or Who's going to break the ice him? here? There you go. <laughs> Lima knocks down two from the free throw line to cut the lead back down to 17. Yeah, South Boston has been forced to go to straight man to man defense. Well, Garen again inside, kisses it off the window. I like that soft shot of his. He, has, he, he can do it from so many angles, too. Well, Garen now four for five from the field. Oh. Santos with the steal, quickly up to Martinez for the layup. Latin Academy extending the lead now to 21 here with two minutes gone by in the second quarter. Southie's got to settle down. Yeah, Lima again has a strip from behind. Here comes Aiden. Too far ahead for Santos, and Southie gets it back. Might be a reach in foul. Muhammad Ali coming back in as 
Benny Martinez heads to the bench. And you look at this Latin Academy team with all these guys coming in and out. I don't think there's a team in the city league that's deeper than the Dragons. I mean, that's they play strength. 10 no, guys that can all play. There's no doubt about that. Even with Shapiro on the bench, Lawson with the layup for the Dragons. Extends the lead to 23. Let's not mention the fact that the leading scorer for Latin Academy has only taken one shot the whole game. Aiden up to Santos, who hits it high off the glass. It's going to be a timeout for South Boston as they want to talk about this. Oh, yeah, Akeem knows this just can get out of hand. I mean, it's out of hand right now. How are we going to get it back in? I mean, down 25 with 525 to go before halftime. Aiden, despite yeah. not scoring two steals and four assists, so he's <laughs> certainly contributing to this team. There's no doubt. I mean, and, and I just like how he's under control all the time whether he's passing, shooting, defending, whatever. He's um, fun player, and, and it's it's a credit to him that he's you know embraced this role coming off the bench. I mean, clearly, with his shooting, he could be a starter. That's right. But uh, Danny Bunker uh, his, and his coaching staff have been able to convince him that he's even more valuable as a, 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 a spark plug shooter coming off the bench. The Latin Academy sure likes to share the basketball. They actually right now have 11 assists on 15 baskets here in the first half. Oh, they're feeling good. They're feeling really good. Coming out of a timeout. Pass was airmailed that time from Bing Wallace as he was looking for Elijah Mansare. Well, South Boston has more turnovers than points. They got 11 turnovers, just 10 points. Aiden for three, unable to hit that one. Gets his own rebound. Ali for three, drills that one. That's his second three-pointer of the night. Lima straight to the goal, and he's going to get two more from the charity strike. Nice pass by Murphy to Lee Lima. On his way to the basket, didn't have to create anything. Lima was two for two in his last trip. Again, remember that this is the format that has, this is a first round game. So the winner of this moves on. And next week during school vacation, we'll have the semifinals and the championships. Lima again two for two, so he's now four for four from the free throw line. The Latin Academy lead to 26. That three missed. Quick nice pass, pass up the floor. Big Wallace couldn't finish the dunk. Lawson for three. Comes right back down for the trifecta. Five point swing on that one. Mason Lawson with 10 points, being Wallace inside, rejected by Nemo Stufford, but he gets the putback. Santos going baseline, and he's fouled out on the wing. Well, the question I mentioned in the first quarter is answered. The, the pace is definitely a major advantage for, uh, for Latin Academy. I think the point you made about how deep they are is, is, is probably why that's, that's the case right now. The South Boston's uh, playing like they're and snowshoes. Ali had a wide open layoff off the inbound pass but couldn't finish. That goes out of bounds off of Stupper. That's about the only thing the Latin Academy has yeah, they missed wrong. They've missed a couple of wide open layups. Other than that, though, can't say much when you're up 27. Another turnover there for South Boston. They seem to be tr almost moving a little too yeah, quickly. Much too quickly. Yeah, well, because they, they want to do something before the ball is actually there. I think emotionally for South Boston, it's almost like, okay, who's going to make some shots for us? I think that, that dunk that Bink missed, he was trying to sort of get his team pumped up with that. They actually have a, a decent crowd here uh, right next to us from South Boston, but not much to cheer about so far. And 
Santos fouls Cameron Dick at the top of the key. That's five team fouls now in Latin Academy. Just the first personal foul on Tiano Santos. Just more of the same. 86, 86, 86. But you gotta, you gotta credit Latin Academy. I mean, they, <clears throat> a lot of times when you have matchups like this, a team that, like, like we said in the open, very close to getting the bye. Wow. Aiden nice. knocking down his first three. Well, his first shot was a theosophy, so he, he got, he's two for two. I'm yeah. sorry, he, yeah. he, that was his second three-pointer. My apologies, he's got six points now for the Dragons. Cameron Dick. Aiden chases down the rebound and throws it off of Mansaray. So I'll go back to Latin Academy here with just over three minutes left to go in the second quarter. Lawson. Aiden again, can't get that one to go. Murphy comes away with a loose ball. Murphy all the way to the rim, he gets fouled. He's gonna get two free throws for Southie. One of the few times we've seen Murphy able to find some open floor space for force the action. Actually, I think Kim Johnson, knowing him, he's probably, forget he he's down so much, but he's, he's just, more disappointed with the poor defense. Oh, oh, they give him 44 it. points. He's still got two and a half minutes to go before half. Yeah, that, that'll probably hit 50 if they don't lock down a little bit more defensively. Murphy knocks down both. We have seen a 30 point comeback earlier this season. Actually, it was last week <laughs> with the overhead Boston English. Charlestown was down by 30. They ended up losing. They came all the way back to tie it. Aiden gets blocked inside by Big Wallace. Another turnover. The travel there. <laughs> but the right idea, swinging the ball, swing the ball to an open teammate. And you got Latin Academy who does have those deep wing shooters and corner shooters, so if you swing the ball, ball always moves, a pass always moves faster than dribbling. Four and three from Mansaray, no good. Lima going after the rebound. They're gonna call it off of Lima, so that'll go back to Latin Academy. It was just over two minutes left to go in the second quarter. Yeah, Mansaray did have a nice open, good open open three from the corner. The feed inside to Ali, couldn't hit it. Mansaray with the rebound, quickly up to Murphy. Murphy gonna reset here for self. Cameron <laughs> Dick getting yeah, fouled reaching. on the floor. Yeah. Gotta like the way that this, this half court defense for Latin Academy is taking away all the driving lanes while at the same time closing out on possible shooters. That's the seventh team foul on Latin Academy. So Cameron Dick now shooting one and one. For Selfie, he knocks down the first. Selfie's hitting their free throws. That's one thing they are doing. Well, it's they just got to figure out at halftime, they've got to figure out how they're going to generate some consistent offense. They haven't put back to back hoops together yet. They're now eight for eight from the free throw line. 36 point lead for the Dragons. Ali well, rattles at home for Latin Academy. I mean, they, you know, South Boston went to man-to-man -man defense so they could close out on the shooters. And that was a long one by Ali, but still, I mean, the way they're hitting him, I mean, you're talking about a team playing at home, has eight threes already. Murphy, three at the yeah. top of the key. Uh, maybe that'll get something started for them. They finally put, broke the 20-point mark, so. 26-point deficit is still an emotional problem for the South Boston team. 
Ali airballs the three. Got to go back to Selfie here with a minute left to go. Well, they can score points. I mean, I mentioned they've won five of their last seven games. They put up nine to seven against, uh, there we go, two in a row. Murphy knocks down another three. Cuts it down to a 33-point lead for Latin Academy. I'm oh, sorry, 23-point lead. My not, apologies. Not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> My math is that it was bad. On, it, was, it was on its way to 33, <laughs> I'll tell you that. But those back-to-back threes for Murphy's helping the cause. Lawson, top of the key. Oh. I bet you. He just recognized that he was a little taller than Murphy. So he set up his own shot. Oh. 15 seconds left to go before halftime. Santos all the way to the rim. Yeah, and Santos, foul on Dick. Santos yeah. took a tough fall. I think he's going to be okay. I'd say these steals the half court. Watch Dick trying to defend and pushing foul. Give Santos two free throws. Yeah, I mentioned South Boston. They, they scored in the, the last seven games. They scored 97. They scored 77 three times. They scored 76. So they, they're capable. They definitely sure. uh, have shooters. This has just been a, a disaster in the first half for the, for the, for the outside shooting. Santos knocks down the second. Here with 11 seconds left to go in the second quarter. He's kind of coming off a little gingerly. Yeah, that, like you said, took a tough fall on the layup attempt. Last possession before halftime. Five seconds left in the quarter. Murphy now trapped up top. Got to get rid of it. And Saray can't hit the three. And a blistering first half there for Latin Academy as they lead by 26 here at the break. And not What's much went wrong for the Dragons huh. there that first half. Anytime you hit eight three-pointers and you're, you're able to defend as well as they did, uh, it makes it look easy. It isn't easy, but it made it look easy. That's right. <laughs> No, we certainly saw the only thing Latin Academy really did wrong in that first half was missed layups. I mean, they did they had, basically everything right. else. They had like three or four point blank layups that, that somehow they just missed. But you're right. That's the only thing they did wrong. Everything else was fine. Uh, they, they started out the game, offensive rebounds, getting to the loose balls, being just a step quicker. And then once they got the double digit lead, South Boston has just been searching, searching, searching for some offense. You, you did have Murphy hit those two threes uh, right. back to back. I think that's the only time they had back to back hoops like the entire half. That's right. Now, one thing that Southie is doing well is they are getting to the free throw line a little bit, and they are knocking down their free throws. So you got to think that maybe they want to try to keep doing that in the second quarter. Uh, but right now, our sideline reporter, Michelle Fenelon, has the head coach of the Latin Academy Dragons, Dan Bunker, with her. Uh, so, Michelle, take it away. I'm alongside Latin Academy head coach, Dan Bunker. Coach, you said you wanted to start off strong and take away South Boston's confidence. You scored 50 points in the first half. What sparked that dominant offensive performance? Uh, it's, it started with our defense. Um, I thought the defensive energy was really good there in the first half. We were able to create a lot of steals. They were one and done. They didn't get any offensive putback. So that was uh, that led to a lot of points. On the bench, you said, don't let up. Don't let up. How do you make sure you match that same defensive energy in the second half? Yeah, South, South Boston's a good team. You know, they have uh, got capable guys who are able to shoot threes uh, and, and absolutely come back and make this a game. Thanks, Coach. Uh, that. Michelle, thanks very much. So, Coach Bunker, very happy with the first half, as can be imagined. Folks, we're going to head to break. When we come back, we will have the halftime stats and halftime highlights here from Latin Academy High on Game of the Week. Make sure you stick around. I never graduated from high school. I realized I wanted to go back to school because I didn't want to work these back-breaking jobs the rest of my life. With the help of my father and having my son, that was all the motivation that I needed to come back to school. I felt accomplished, it made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry, I don't think it looks right. This is good, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, 
not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, yes. you, your football buddy, your football buddy, you, your plumber, breathe right into your foot, your plumber's masseuse, yes. you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. With early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. When I was 10, my mom got deported. We had a difficult time, and I feel that's why I didn't get to finish school. My husband is really supported in a way that he pushed me to go back to school. She wants to have a career so her kids can look up to her. They both keep me motivated to go to school, and they see that if I do it, like they can do it too, you know? I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Each year, there are more than a dozen significant tropical and winter storms that threaten the East Coast. So chances are there will be more hurricanes and blizzards near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. All right, Monroe. You ready? Whoosh. Whew. Monroe! Here we go, the butterfly. Jenny? I am what hunger looks like in America. I am an eight-year-old girl who's not excited for the last day of school. Because this may be the last time I'll have lunch. Till September. I am a single father of two who works three part-time jobs. And that's still not enough to put food on the table. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. Imagine being fired because of who you love. Imagine being denied medical treatment because of who you marry. Imagine being evicted because of who you are. Millions of Americans don't have to imagine this. They have to live it. Because in 30 states, it's legal to discriminate against LGBT people. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Get it. Get it. Get it. Give your town a reason to celebrate. Because every Goodwill item you bring home brings job training and more to your community. Goodwill. Bring good home. Julie was always a, a voracious reader. 
She'd carry two novels on an airplane because she'd read one on a three, four hour ride. And at some point, I began to notice that she would read a page and couldn't remember what she had just read and she'd have to go back and read it again. I don't remember much these days after I read, but less does for me and I love it. Welcome back to Latin Academy High School in Dorchester. We're at the half here on Game of the Week as Latin Academy is defeating the South Boston Knights 50-24. to We got the halftime stats here for the South Boston Knights. South Boston struggling. Murphy did hit back-to-back -back threes late in the second quarter, so he's leading them with 10 points. Dick has uh, four points. Murphy also has three rebounds, as does Bing Wallace, and assists for a low five between Aponte and Murphy. Let's take a look at the Southie, uh, other, excuse me, Latin Academy halftime yeah, set. Other side of the coin, you see it really spread out. Lawson with 12, the big guard, Ali with nine. Uh, Wolgarin, five rebounds, Ali with five rebounds. And then Aiden, that's the big one. Aiden, who's really a scorer, five assists for him, and Santos also had five assists. 15 total assists for this Latin Academy team, so certainly a fantastic uh, first half exactly for what the Dragons. Want. They've been spreading exactly the ball around really, really well. It takes away all those jitters, all that nervousness. Here's Mason Lawson, who had a great first half for the Dragons. Yo, Lawson, we saw him the last time we were here as he really took over a game before it went into overtime. And he's just has a lot. He has an outside jumper under control. And he has that size. A couple of times he was able to score over the shorter Murphy. So if South Boston's forced to stay in that man-to-man, -man, look for Lawson to really take over a lot of the half-court offense. Uh, for South Boston, the offensive side, like we mentioned, we saw Murphy knock down some threes towards the end of the second quarter mm -hmm. there, but you got to think some other guys have to step oh, up definitely. and hit some as well. It, it's, well. He has to continue that, but also his buddies have to get things going. I mean, it's, it's, it's frustrating enough being down, what, 26 points, but when you right. can't make any shots uh, in your mind, you're thinking, wow, this is just going to get worse and worse, and that's not the case. High school basketball, you have plenty of time to come back, especially when you have shooters. No question. We'll see if some of those guys can step up and knock down some threes here for the Knights. Uh, Jalen Bing Wallace certainly had a lot of blocks in the first half and a couple of rebounds, but wasn't yeah, the huge factor that we necessarily like, thought he was going to well, be like so I said, far. When he missed that wide open breakaway dunk, I mean, he he wanted to dunk to try to get his, his crowd into the game, but more sure. importantly, get his teammates excited. Unfortunately, he uh, wasn't able to put it down. Ended up with only four points for the half. And so he'll... He'll, he'll be one of the ones he has to have a big half for uh, South Boston to try to come back. So with that big lead, Latin Academy can stay in their zone. Yeah. Dragons, or excuse me, the Knights come out in the third quarter with a basketball. Three, corner, short that time for Cameron Dick. Dick trying to come away with a steal. It goes off of Mason Lawson. Back to the Knights. That's good hustle by... Murphy to create that steal. Twenty-six point lead for the Dragons to start the third quarter. Dick getting tied up. Okay, swarming defense. And okay. stolen away by Santos. Santos on the break over to Ali. Hits the layup. Red Academy's hitting too. the tough yeah. layups. They're yeah, not hitting the easy ones. Say, say, both of <laughs> the rules are tough at the same time. That was a really a bad angle, but he's able to finish it. Murphy for three. Barry's another one. That's three for him. So Murphy feeling good behind the arc. See if that spreads out to any of his teammates. Ali on the drive, straight to the goal. Doesn't call for him. Comes away with the offensive rebound, however. Austin's a really good size for this as a guard. He's almost a mismatch at the top of the key. Inside the wall. Aaron can't get it to go, but he's going to get two free throws for the Dragons. Yeah, I think Walsh is just a, a step behind on defensively. I think Wallace is. Yeah, you have a big guy who's going to stay active. He's got those long arms and just has the, has the instinct to get his hand on the ball. 
keep a lot of balls alive, give his teammates second and third chances. 0 for 2 from the free throw line is Osasu Mulgarin that goes out of bounds off of Muhammad Ali. So Southie will get it back here. Who Pope, Pope came back in the game. So, uh, South Boston, he's one of their shooters. Go get it to him! Ponzi. Lima. Trying to feed it inside to Big Wallace. Hey, oh, nice play, actually. The, 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 those long arms for Latin Academy. Got, got the deflection. Murphy fires another three. That one off the back rim. Lima couldn't hang on to the rebound, but we get a foul on Muhammad Ali. I'm sure Coach Bunker doesn't mind that activity, though. He has his, all five of his players out there going to the loose ball. Bing Wallace lays it down nicely to Lima. A good play by Wallace, because he could have taken that shot himself uh, under duress, so instead found his open teammate. Lawson. Awesome. Call for travel. Thought he got tied up there. Yeah, it looked like he was a little indecisive. Uh, he saw they had Murphy on him, but took him an extra count before he decided to drive to the basket. That's tipped out of bounds, gonna stay with the Knights. I'm oh, sorry, it's going on. No, no, it's deflection. Yeah, they, one of the officials had the head deflection on it. Yes, it will stay with South Boston. Brewington Cope can't hit the three. Strong rebound inside from Ali. Ali. Between two of the, of the South XL players. You look at him, he's he's so long and wiry, but he has eight rebounds. Right. <laughs> it's a strong, wiry frame for Muhammad Ali. Lost it. Trying to find an opening and gets Tied up inside. That's yeah, a, little too much, a little too much one-on-one -on -one that time. You don't see Danny Bunker's teams do that that often, even when you have a size advantage. But that was good defense that time for South Boston. They get it into Lawson, guarded by Tommy Hubbard. Right now, Eight, seven, six, down. Good swing, Ali, corner three. Nothing but nylon from Muhammad Ali. Good patience by all the Latin Academy players. Found Ali wide open in that deep corner. Sends the lead back to 26. Aponte can't hit the three. Rebound inside by Hubbard. And Osasu Wolgarin's going to be whistled for the foul. A little bit of a reach. South Boston has been in this offensive funk the entire game. Worst, it's the worst thing that can happen to you when you in, a, uh, in a, any type of playoff game. But here we are, first round of the city playoffs. And they, they, the South Boston team, is, I, sort of feel, I sort of feel bad for them because they've, they've struggled, they've been up and down a bit. They struggle, like you mentioned, losing Bing for, what, a handful of games. And coming to this one, earn your way. But then really lay an egg in terms of trying to make some shots. And Bing Wallace knocks down one of two from the free throw line. So a 25-point lead for Latin Academy here with 447. Excuse me, Hubbard knocked down one for two from the free throw line. So 447 
left to go here in the third quarter. 25-point lead for the Dragons. Folks, if you want to follow us on social media, you can go to our Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash gameoftheweekboss. A lot of good stuff up on that site, including what games we're going to be covering during the state tournament. We'll give you those previews as the state tournament unfolds. You can also follow us on Twitter at Boston City TV. And if you want to tweet at us, use the hashtag BostonGOW. Latin Academy Dragons with a commanding 25-point lead here in the third quarter of the first round of the Boston City League playoffs. On the boys' side, Latin Academy girls already made it to the city semifinals. They were one of the teams on the girls' side that got the bye in the first round. This is going to be very interesting next week. The city semifinals are actually on Wednesday. They play all four of them. So the two girls' games, two boys' games. Then they play the city championship games the following day. It's a little earlier this year. It's a little earlier in the day. It's actually a 2.30 start time for the city league championships this season. That'll be the girls' game first, and then the boys' game immediately follows. Yeah, it's a full-court man-to-man defense for South Boston. You got to keep changing things up. got to keep your players active. Hopefully create some steals, turnovers. Aiden. Can't get the floater to go. Rebound for Brooks and Cope. Good swing for Aponte, who can't hit the three. Aiden. Tried to get it inside to Stumper. He kicks it back out. Lawson steps in for a two. That was a three. They gave it to him. I think he stepped back, actually. I thought he was stepping on the line. That was unselfishness by Ali. Now we can, can make that wing three. Instead, he gave it up to uh, Lawson. Off the steal. Stumpert inside. He was shoved by Kyle Murphy. Now Boston continues to be sloppy with the basketball. Stop, stop, stop. That turnover led to that, that foul, which keeps possession with Latin Academy. Latin Academy now with 10 threes in this game as Muhammad Ali gets the basket and the foul. Strong cut to the basket. Like you said, we've seen him make these bank layups from weird angles. That time he's getting knocked down and he's still able to put it home. 22, 22. Okay, 16 points for Ali. It's 17. Just like that, it's a 30 point game. So Lima's going to come back in. Yeah, a little more size for South Boston coming back in as Tommy Hubbard heads to the bench. Get up, get up, get up. Ponte. Now it's going to Cope. Going to Cope for three off the side rim. Like I said earlier, he's one of the, Cope's one of the shooters. Tough part is now you're, you're down by so much. All the shooters from South Boston are feeling that little extra sort of pressure to got to make it, got to make it, got to make it, make it back in the game. Cameron Dick all the way to the rim. Gets the hoop and the harm for South Boston. That's a nice finish with the left. He actually got bumped. One of the few times we've seen South Boston with the, creating a clear lane to the hoop. Cameron knocks down the free throw. He's got seven points for the Southie Knights. Santos coming back in for Latin Academy. Benny Martinez heading to the bench. All the players for the Dragons just keep rolling on through. Well, the key is they all contribute. It doesn't, have to, it doesn't always have to be scoring. Emo Stufford, the senior knocking down the trifecta for Latin Academy. Dragons hit another three. They yeah. extend the lead to 30 once again here with 319 left to go in the third quarter. Well, I mean, it's, just, it's more the same. It's the, you, you really can't. I mean, that was a frustration timeout call by, by uh, Hakeem Johnson because he's he put he's put his guys into man-to-man solely to be able to close in, close out on these three-pointers. That's right. So hopefully at least put a hand in the face. You know, not a lot of Washington. You get out there, the Lima, get out there late. And, it can take long because you get, you get a very confident bunch of Latin Academy 
players shooting at the home rims <laughs> where they practice all the time. And yeah, well, Coach Bunker even said earlier this week that their last game before tonight was actually Monday against Burke. Huge win against Burke Monday night. And they've just been practicing for the rest of the week up until today. So they've been shooting in this gym that makes for them three anxious. straight days. That makes them anxious, too. <laughs> yeah, right. And then and then to this game. Meanwhile, South Boston just played on Wednesday night. Okay. Then had practice yesterday and then a game today. So Latin Academy, a little more practice time, trying to get a little more shots up. So they have the days in their own gym. That'll be a grab on Aiden. Three-quarter court press for Latin Academy is really there's some problems for South Boston. Backcourt. Backcourt violation well, there gonna, on South. I think uh, they're going to confer on this one. Because he may not have. Uh, I'm not sure if they had established. Yes, yeah, so exactly. That's the exactly court, what they're yeah. talking about. Yeah, they're going to give it back to Southie. I don't think he had established the front court possession just yet. Get it into Dick. Cameron Dick with the runner. Can't get it to go. Darren comes away with a rebound. Aiden gets it over to Santos. He can't hit the three, gets his own rebound. Santos inside the wall. Aaron for the basket. Nice play by Santos. Hustle, because he knew that shot was going to be off. Trimmed out with an assist. That's nine assists for Santos. Ben Wallace going towards the rim. He gets fouled. I don't think Selfie's had quite enough of that tonight. Ben that, Wallace going towards go. the rim. You're right. I mean, it, it, all, it all started when the, the three-point shooting wasn't, hasn't been uh, effective so if, if one thing's not working you gotta try something else before you get yourself in a, into a big hole but you see a nice strong drive by Bing and like you said they've needed a lot more of that 241 to go third quarter down 30 31 points Jalen Bing Wallace knocks down both free throws ate it to the corner, Stuffer around the rim and on that three. That's gonna go back to Celtic. Three that time from Cameron Dick off the mark. Rebound comes down to Muhammad Ali. I'm sorry, that was Nemo Stuffer with the rebound. Stuffert on the drive, lost it inside the paint, and scores off the window. Stay with it, ball can come right back to you. Here comes Benny Martinez off the steal. Behind the back to Santos, couldn't get the layup, and it comes down to Dick. Cameron Dick fouled in transition. It's going to be on Nemo Stupper. I can't remember seeing such a frustrating shooting night for a team. <clears throat> Especially, in, a, like I said, in a playoff situation. This is it's really tough. Deep three from Murphy off the back rim that time. Rebound comes down to Abdullahi Aiden. He's fouled at the top of the key. I think one thing you can say about Latin Academy before tonight was that as good as this group's been all year and as many varsity minutes they got last season, this group of players for Latin Academy really hadn't played in a playoff game. They really well, hadn't played in a postseason point. Point. type of atmosphere. Now, you could argue that Tech Boston game a couple weeks ago that was, an was a postseason atmosphere. That atmosphere. was an atmosphere. Right. In fact, that was a bigger crowd than we have tonight. That's right. Aiden well, carries the three from the wing. Yeah, after the game, uh, Tech Boston staff came to us. I mean, uh, Latin Academy staff came to us and said, well, can we get some more seats back from the, from the camera That's space? Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, we, we had limited seating here against Tech Boston, to say I mean, the we least. We didn't expect that. That place was packed. Oh, packed. I've never seen this gym You can always packed. tell it's packed when you walk in That's and right. you feel the heat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Before you even sit down. I mean, it's packed tonight. So if you think about how it is tonight, plus another plus some more. Yeah, 100 were, people. Right. Yeah. We have the walls lined here with three or four people deep for that Tech Boston game. So the question, you know, looking the way this game is going. Question, like you said, for the, these young players for Latin Academy, you know, can they really keep this going? And they'll have a tough matchup on Wednesday. And the atmosphere at Madison Park is different than it is here. Oh, Certainly, much it's not it's not much their home different. gym. Right. But also with the city semifinals, sometimes depending on the the time of day and who you're playing, sometimes there isn't much of a crowd in the, that. Those then it games builds up then it because builds. it's it's yeah. sort, uh, you know, sort of yeah. a weird time during the day, and then the city championships crowds build, right. build up. Aiden going to get a breather for Latin Academy. It's always nice to see when a, when a scorer can come out, not take many shots, but really have a good game with assists. No question. Well, Jaron again. Young sophomore with another putback for Latin Academy. Twelve points and nine boards now for Sasu Wilgarin. Side to Will Guerin once again, tries a half hook and gets knocked out of bounds, gonna stay with Latin Academy. That was just a good hustle that time by Martinez. Actually knocked the ball off of one of the South Boston players to keep possession. Off the inbounds inside to Wolgarin, couldn't finish. Bing Wallace with the rebound for South Boston. Ansaray picks up the loose ball, gets it poked away. Santos back down the other end, rejected by Jalen Bing Wallace. Yeah, Bing just a <laughs> angry, angry and frustrating block. It's his sixth block of the game, but has had hasn't had much effect. Three from Nemo, oh. stumpered at the top of the key. And they're falling for you. Third three for Nemo. Again, with Jaren caught reaching in on Bing Walsh. You, know, you, you talked earlier really about how Latin Academy could actually split with Tech Boston. You know, in terms of the two games they played. That's right. Um, and the records were very, very similar. So they were really, Latin Academy was really close to having the bye. I'm wondering now if Denny uh, Bunker isn't happier playing the game, having a game, and well, obviously with this, like, even, even before the game started, the idea of being able to play a game before you get to the, you know, to earn your way to the city semifinals. Yeah, certainly a couple of different ways to look at that. Folks, we're gonna head to break when we come back. Well, the fourth quarter here on Game of the Week, right after these messages. Don't go away. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. It's really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Welcome back to Latin Academy High School in Dorchester. Before we get going here in the fourth quarter, that's the Boston City Championships. That'll be our next live broadcast on Thursday, February 20th, starting at 2.30 p.m. Girls game up first. Boys game is second over at Madison Park High School in Roxbury. So make sure you tune in 
next Thursday, especially if you're one of the BPS kids, you're home for vacation, <laughs> right. you got nothing to do, either go to the game over at Madison or tune into Boston City TV either on our channel or on our website or on YouTube. Follow us on YouTube and you can watch live as well. We've been so lucky with the weather. It's winter. If, if next week is decent weather, come out to the game. Madison Park, plenty of seats, good action. That's right. Support both the girls and the boys in the championship games. Second free throw knocked down that time from Jamari Brewington Cope. Eight and deep three, short on that one. And it almost gets it poked away, then it's rejected by Jalen Bing Wallace. Santos, Mason Lawson can't hit the three. Bing Wallace comes away with the rebound for South Boston. Murphy fires another three, that one off the back iron. Rebound comes down to Mason Lawson. Quickly up the floor, and Supper just couldn't hang on to it. Aiden with the rebound, put back no good. Brewington cope with the rebound for Selfie. They got a foul at the top of the key. Yeah, Cope had a nice head of steam on that one. He reach in. So already 10 personal fouls on Latin Academy, so it's going to be South Boston and the double bonus for virtually the entire fourth quarter. Cope could not hit the first. Benny Martinez coming in. Yeah, the Dragons. Track. I mean, I, I'm losing track of how many players they have on this Latin Academy team. They're, they're just in and out. Yeah, they've used nine. It looks like they've used nine. Yeah, especially with yeah. Shapiro. If he's yeah. healthy, they use, they use about nine guys. So. Okay. Offensive rebound from Lima. Brewing to Cope. Can't hit the three. Four players for Latin Academy currently in double figures, and Aiden has nine points, so pretty reasonable to think they're going to get five guys with double figures. Just trending that way. Good feed inside to Martinez. Benny can't put it up and in. Taps it back out to Aiden. Abdullahi gets it stripped. Puts it back up and in. He's got 11 now. You just saw Latin Academy get four different possessions. Two offensive rebounds and then two long rebounds. Going to Cope. This is another three. Lawson with the rebound. Kyle Murphy still down on the floor there for Selfies. Eight in corner three. Rattles at home. Looks like a cramp for uh, Murphy as he's trying to stretch out that left leg. Yeah. Toronto Santos gets his 10th assist as Latin Academy extends their lead here to 45. It's Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Murphy down on the floor. Yeah, definitely a cramp the way they're stretching that out. Well, like we always say, coming to a playoff game you just never know how you're going to respond uh, unfortunately for Excel which you can see that three-pointer again from the corner that's his specialty loves going to the corner but he shoots from the wings he's the top of the key he's, he's, he can make it from all over so yeah Aiden has five hoops uh, four of them are three-pointers and he's become a much better, well-rounded offensive player, too. Last year, Aiden was sort of just a three-point shooter, perimeter shooter. This year, we've seen in this game and in that game against Tech Boston about three weeks ago, just how good he is at taking it to the basket. Oh, and, and, now, and he can assist because uh, teams know him as a shooter. They expect him to come off the bench firing, so that opens up uh, some passing opportunities for him to get the ball to his teammates. He's, he's done exactly that. Coach Bunker. I believe it's his 14th season as the head coach of Latin Academy. 
oddly enough, the last, last time Latin Academy was in the city championship was Dan Bunker's senior year Who's at Latin Academy, 1998. And the last time they won the city championship was, I believe, 93. 93, 93, 93 maybe? It was two or three, yeah. And I think Dan Bunker was in eighth grade, and here at Latin Academy, you, they, some guys get moved up for those games. I think he was on that team as an eighth grader. Way up inside there for South Boston Aponte. Like finally slight, getting in the scoreboard. It's like a slight advantage, you know, for like Latin Academy or Bryant. Uh, those teams, you know, because they are a combination of middle school and, and high school. Corner oh. three, knocked down that time from That's Terrence hot, Wilford. That is the hot corner for <laughs> deep threes. The sophomore getting his chance and coming out firing. Eight assists now for Abdullahi. Eight. Ponte gets the swat rejected. Martinez down the other end. Couldn't finish. Home yeah, Dugu going after you, that rebound. The kids coming off the bench are flying high for the Latin Academy. Everybody trying to make a spectacular play. Corner three for Hubbard. Tommy Hubbard knocks one down for the Knights. Well, whoever Latin Academy plays next is uh, going to have a lot of, of planning to do defensively because the, the Dragons have shown that they can score in a lot of ways. Well, like right now how it shapes out, I believe Latin Academy is gonna is gonna play New Mission in that Wednesday City semifinal, whereas Tech Boston is gonna then play Jeremiah Burke, who won last night. They won last night, right? Yeah. Okay. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Both those games are gonna be great. Latin Academy and New Mission is gonna be a lot of fun. As here we see number ten, Orlando Josino, the freshman, getting some time for the Dragons. As Mason Lawson heads to the back. I think I think that's everybody who's been in the game. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think right now there's everybody in uniform for um, Latin Academy. Big Wallace tries for a three that time. The other interesting thing about that Latin Academy New Mission game, you got two brothers going at That's it. That's right, yeah. Abdullahi Aiden, who just missed that three, and Abubakar Aiden, who's on New Mission. They have very similar games, too. They launch threes from... Family Everywhere straight, right? around the gym. <laughs> I can see the two of them just in the driveway out in the, <laughs> out in the street. Matching shots, right? Yeah. Taking threes from everywhere. You shoot from here, I'll shoot from right. there. Right. Yeah, their, their games of horse must be ridiculous. You see a young fan? Can't believe the score is doing that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I'll stick with these potato chips. Yeah. Right. As Hubbard knocks down the first. Couple of South Boston young players getting in. Matthew, Matthew Roscoe, Roscoe, the junior, now in for the Knights. <laughs> Matty Martinez comes away with the rebound off the missed free throw. Cino on the drive, and he took an extra step. So they're going to call him for travel. Then I go back to South Beach. Well, certainly not the night that South Boston wanted. Hey, well, Unable to hit no way to perimeter shots. To, to miss all these shots. One thing Coach Johnson's got to do now is sort of just kind of regroup and get ready for the state tournament. Monty off the steal. We actually saw South Boston in our first broadcast of the 2020 basketball season. They lost to a good Cohasset team. That ball goes out of bounds. And Jada Maponte was one of the players knocking down shots and hitting threes and going to the basket. He just had a real tough time getting going tonight. 
We mentioned Bing Wallace just not right. quite being as aggressive as he probably needs and that, to be. And that's what throws you off because uh, and we always say this, 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 especially in high school, and when you're dealing with some young underclass players, whoever has been their, their, their main guy, especially offensively, it's, it's like if they're off, then the rest of the team you know, it emotionally can struggle. You see Aponte with the reverse lay-in for the Knights. I mean, Aponte's a good example. He's had a frustrating shooting night. He made a couple of layups here late, but uh, he's, you know, he, he's, he's able to be a deep shooter. Just, just couldn't make any. Santos all the way to the basket. Talk about South Boston expected. I, I don't think Danny Bunker from now the cab expected uh, basically for it to, to, as it's turned out, to just be so easy. No question. Once, I mean, once they get that big lead, all they did was increase it. Well, we, you mentioned before, as hey, you get another look at the Brewington Cope drive, as he, he's going to get two free throws. You mentioned before how Latin Academy and South Boston played each other a lot in the fall leagues, even though they didn't play in this regular season. They actually played each other in one of the championship games of one of those fall leagues, right, and Boston South won. Boston yeah. won at the right. buzzer. And Coach Bunker mentioned that Southie, in their 2-3 zone, really forced Can be tough. Latin yeah. Academy to take a, a lot of deep shots. And if you're not hitting shots from the outside, it's, you can struggle against that 2-3 defense. Oh, definitely. If, if it's played correctly and, you, and the defenders are closing out on those shooters, you're right. That can be tough. Dugu unable to hit the three. Put back from Jacino, no good, but he's going to get two from the free throw line. But there was no problem tonight because <laughs> Latin Academy started hitting those three-pointers early, and they have not stopped hitting it. Dino hits the first. So just see a freshman it is. make his free throw. Knocks down both for the Dragons. Going to Cope, deep three for South Boston. We mentioned the youth for this South Boston team is one of their sophomores. Buries an elbow jumper, Benny Martinez. Mm -hmm. You've got virtually this entire team coming back next year for Latin Academy. Uh, Nemo Stuppard, really the biggest contributor as a senior for the Dragons. So you've got a bunch right. of juniors. Yeah. Then you've got Benny Martinez, and you've got Osasu Bulgarin, who are just sophomores this year. You've got Brennan Shapiro, who, even though he's hurt tonight, just a freshman. So you've got a lot we of saw young him guys. Play. He got a lot of size. He's you got a lot of guys coming back next year and the year after. And of course, Dennis Wilson's here. If he doesn't have a game for Madison Park, he's going to go watch another game here in the City League. Dennis just eclipsed the 400 100. win right. mark for, for his, his career. career. Yeah. Certainly a great accomplishment for Coach Wilson, who did it uh, Monday night. So congratulations to Coach Wilson on his 400th career victory. I'm sure that means a lot to him. For all the years he spent at Madison Park, I think it's been 34 those, years. Well, those, those milestones, it, it's... And it's one of those things that while it's happening, you, you think about it, then you forget about it. You think about it, then you forget about it. Right. And all of a sudden, it's it's right upon you. I mean, it's, you know, a few years ago when they when the, the uh, Madison Park gym, the court was uh, named Dennis Wilson Court. That was a huge deal. Dugu gets. Stuffed inside, Jacino no good in that shot. Tries to put back, no good. Jacino trying to chase after the loose ball. It's going to stay with Latin Academy, I believe. With 43 seconds left to go. Well, like you said, Pat, it's up to the South Boston players to get the, the their heads uh, back on straight. That they will be getting ready for the state tournament, which. Is a week after next. Yeah, the state tournament's going to come, and it's going to come in a hurry. Oh, yeah, and, and that's one and done. And South Boston will definitely be playing in the first round, so they just got to get ready quick. Be a held ball. We'll see we wind the, this one down. 13 seconds. 
We'll see when the matchups come out, because I believe their official record will be 10 and 8 after the loss tonight. You know, are they going to be at home for their first game? Are they going to be on the road? They'll probably be on the road. Yeah. But you never know with those first round matchups. Well, I think we can honestly say that we expected a much closer score, but if you have one team that comes out and does everything so well, and we talk a lot about the offense, obviously, it's for over 80 points, but their defense just took South Boston totally out of it. No question. Yeah, definitely Southie uh, had a tough time, especially offensively throughout this game. The Latin Academy's defense was outstanding. The rebounding was outstanding, and they knocked down a lot of threes during strengths. this, during this game. They the absolutely strengths. played to yeah. the strengths that they've been uh, so good at all the, all season long, and their depth was just so good. We saw a lot of different guys contribute. Six guys in double figures tonight for Latin Academy. So a very impressive win. That's right, 17-3. and three. Heck of a season so far for the Dragons. Folks, we're going to head to break. When we come back, we'll have our Game of the Week MVP and our final stats here from Latin Academy High School in Dorchester right after these messages. Don't go away. I never graduated from high school. I realized I wanted to go back to school because I didn't want to work these back-breaking jobs the rest of my life. With the help of my father and having my son, that was all the motivation that I needed to come back to school. I felt accomplished. It made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, yes. you, your football buddy, your football buddy. You, your plumber. Breathe right into your foot. Your plumber's masseuse. Yes. You, your dog walker, your cat jogger. With early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. When I was 10, my mom got deported. We had a difficult time, and I feel that's why I didn't get to finish school. My husband is really supportive in a way that he pushed me to go back to school. She wants to have a career so her kids can look up to her. They both keep me motivated to go to school, and they see that if I do it, like, they can do it too, you know? I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Each year, there are more than a dozen significant tropical and winter storms that threaten the East Coast. So chances are there will be more hurricanes and blizzards near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. All right, Monroe. You ready? Whoosh. Whew. Monroe. Here we go. The butterfly. Ready?
I am what hunger looks like in America. I am an eight-year-old girl who's not excited for the last day of school. Because this may be the last time I'll have lunch. Till September. I am a single father of two who works three part-time jobs. And that's still not enough to put food on the table. I was created by artificial intelligence from faces of the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. Imagine being fired because of who you love. Imagine being denied medical treatment because of who you marry. Imagine being evicted because of who you are. Millions of Americans don't have to imagine this. They have to live it. Because in 30 states, it's legal to discriminate against LGBT people. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos. But tonight, he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago, in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. 150 over 90. 180 over 111. 160 over 110. I had a stroke. Your blood pressure numbers could change your life. Lowering them could save you from having a stroke. If you've stopped your treatment plan, restart it, or talk to your doctor about creating one that works better for you. Start taking the right steps at manageyourbp.org. Now I'm, you know, trying to get better, stronger than ever. Sometimes we can do things that exclude others. You're still talking to your friend. It's complicated. I think he went back in. We gotta go get him. Welcome to Jumanji! Even the smallest words and actions can have a big effect on someone. You have the skills. Because of you, someone's entire day, their year, or their life can change. Remember, the future is in your hands. Visit becauseofyou.org to learn more. Totally, let's do it. Meet the scan. A simple procedure whose mission is to detect lung cancer early. but I feel fine. That's great, but you may still be at high risk for lung cancer. Oh man, that's a new fence. If you smoke, early detection could save your life. Learn more at savedbythescan.org. Our hearts are made stronger by how we treat others. Put her there. The light you share can impact those around you, but so can the darkness. Later, twerps! Did Pete saying mean things bother you? So when you reach out to another person, <laughs> Take a moment to consider how they will feel and let your heart be the key to making a difference. Because of you, someone's entire day, year, or even life can change. In every heart, there's hope. Welcome back to Latin Academy High School in Dorchester. Conclusion of the game of the week, the Latin Academy Dragons defeat the South Boston Knights here in the boys' first round city playoffs. And the Latin Academy will now be playing in the city semifinals next week on Wednesday, right before the city championships, for the right to go to the city championship. And one of the hardest things we've probably had to do over the last few minutes is figure out who the MVP is because there were so <laughs> many impressive performances tonight for Latin Academy. But I think the steadiest performance from the Dragons was Muhammad Ali. He did a lot out on the floor. And for the most tonight. importantly, he did it early. That's he's, right. he's one of the key guys who got that double digit lead early in their first quarter. That's so. right. You're right. He's not considered one of their uh, top players, but he's consistent. Love those long arm guys. No question. He's probably got as long arms on that team as anybody. Without question. Muhammad Ali and Coach Bunker are with our sideline reporter, Michelle Fenelon. Michelle, take it away. I'm alongside the MVP of this game, junior forward Muhammad Ali and head coach Dan Bunker. Muhammad, 17 points, 10 rebounds for you. What was your mindset coming into this game? I mean, uh, it was thanks to my teammates, uh, Mason, Tiano, and Abdullah just finding me. I mean, I just had the easy shots, just hitting shots and um, bringing the energy to the team. That's about it. 
knowing the last time you played this team, they beat you on a buzzer beater in the preseason championship game. How much was that motivation for you guys to come out and win this one? Um, I mean, the coach told us, I mean, we owe them one for, um, today, and we had to get them back. I mean, that's, that's, that's all about it. Thank you. Congratulations. Coach, you know this 2-3 zone is South Boston's bread and butter. However, you still managed to score 16 threes in this one. How did you prepare for the South Boston zone? Um, I thought we did a good job of uh, defensive rebounding and being able to run on them and not let them set up. When they were in the 2-3 zone, I felt like we were able to have them on their heels and not their toes, So, and uh, we moved the ball pretty well. This team was on fire offensively, strong defensively. When your team is playing this well on both sides of the court, how dangerous is this team? Uh, well, we can. We have the uh, opportunity to be a really complete team. Like, you know, we have some big guys. I think our chemistry is pretty good. We move the ball. We can be unselfish. Uh, when we play that type of basketball, we, 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 we can be pretty good. How complete did you feel like this performance was? Uh, it, it was a good. It, it was a good team win. Um, you know, I, I, everybody got involved. I feel like, you know, uh, Tiano Santos had a, a great defensive game. Like, even the guys who don't have necessarily the stats did the little things. Tiano, Benny, uh, Martinez had a, another great game, rebounded, being in the right spots. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations right, on the win. Thank you. Pat. Coach Bunker, thanks very much. And talking about some of the guys that made contributions to his team that didn't really show up on the stat sheet. We're going to see it here in a minute for our halftime stats. And Tiano Santos actually had 10 assists tonight. But first up, we're going to take a look at the Excel night, or excuse me, the South Boston Knights final stats here. And first up, it's Kyle yeah. Murphy. Well, Murphy, he made some threes. Ended up with 13 points. Tried to run the offense, but uh, South Boston just really struggled in the half court sets. Hubbard added eight points. Uh, Bing Wallace, disappointing game, had, but did have eight rebounds. Lehman added four. Aponte was six assists, and Murphy had a couple of assists. Let's take a look at Latin Academy's final stats. Yeah, Latin Academy is all, almost everything double figures. Get Ali, the outstanding player, with 17 points. Lawson added an early 15. He had Ali with 10 rebounds. Uh, uh, Wojtman with 10 rebounds also. And Santos, like you mentioned, Pat, 10 assists. Uh, and Aiden, Aiden had eight. Aiden had eight. And that, that, that to me is, is just really indicative of, of the kind of team that Latin Academy has. I mean, he's the leading scorer who comes off the bench. Came in the game and he only took like one shot in the, in the first five minutes he was there. That's right. He made it, of course. <laughs> then his next one he made. But uh, it, it's it's um, it's good to see when young players uh, they understand their major role. But there's also the overall role of the team. It's like Bunker was saying. Everyone has to rebound, right? Everybody has to play defense. And he, uh, Aiden did a good job with that. No question. It did, a lot of guys making a lot of contributions for this Latin Academy team. So, folks, if you want to watch this game again, you can certainly go to our website, www.cityofboston.gov slash game of the week. All the games from this season should be up on that site. You can also go to our social media pages. First, you can go to Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash game of the week the week Boston a lot of good stuff up on that side including which games we're going to be playing links to these games that we've covered already make sure you check that out you can also follow us on Twitter at Boston City TV and if you want to tweet at us use the hashtag Boston G O W hard to believe as it is every year but next week championships. are the city championships, championships right? Thursday <laughs> late afternoon over at Madison Park High girls up first at 2.30 boys immediately following right around 4.30 always a lot of fun over at the Matta Dome for the city championships every year so hopefully we'll see you next time there over at Madison Park High but we're going to say so long from Latin Academy High School we'll see you next time here in Game of the Week take care everybody